Yo, yo, Reds fam, what's going on? And welcome back, folks. It's a new. I hit the fan. Oh, I hit my fan. I hit, the... I hit my hand with the fan. Um, it's a new season, a franchise, a new team, a new journey, a new start. Man, I love doing these franchises, and I kind of want to do something different with this year. I want to make them as long as possible. I want to make him at least 16, 20 minutes long. I don't care how long the render is. I just want them to be long. Just add a bunch of stuff into one episode for us to start off with. So, you guys did not know, right? If you guys remember from the poll, I did say at the first episode of the Pittsburgh Pirates series, I did say that we were going to be the Cincinnati Red series, that we were going to do it on the Pittsburgh Pirates. So... Folks, we're going to be using a new roster for this year as well. I'm going to be using the OSFM 2.6 roster vault. We're going to be using this and kind of, um, yeah, I can't use the all-time legend one. I can't use the version one. That one's pretty old. But we have this one, OSFM 2.6. Let's see how it goes, folks. So, pretty, pretty interesting season that we're going to have with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Let's see. We have a $79 million budget. We're uh, 24th rank. You know, it's going to be it's gonna be interesting to see, folks. So, uh, GM contracts, uh, we're gonna have those off, fantasy drafts off, obviously, this isn't a fantasy draft, uh, like that, uh, CPU roster control, no thank you, CPU trading, um, I'll do that off, ignore budgets on, I love to ignore the budgets, I just like going, just going crazy, I wanna do whatever I want, uh, when on, any trade you propose to the team will be accepted, when off, a trade you wanna add to an option to decline, no, no, no. okay, cool, I'll do that, and I'm going to do DHs off. I want to do DHs off just because, you know, I don't know. DHs is kind of, it's more difficult to deal with, you know, because then you got to know which player you want to put in that position. I'd rather just stick, stick my nine outfielders to hit. That's pretty much my nine fielders to hit. So I want to do the coaching task manual. I want to do, I mean, manual for this and manual for this, and this could just be an auto. So, folks, a new season, a new season, a new journey with the team. Pittsburgh Pirates, folks. Let's see how this goes. So let's go ahead and look at our roster, see what we're working with. So we're working with the Felipe Rivera, 91 overall. He's probably going to stay with us. Starting Marte, uh, Jason Tyon, Gregory Polanco. Uh, okay. Overall, some good, good players. I'm excited about Bell. You guys might not know it, but if you guys do franchise, you guys know that Josh Bell always goes to a very, very high overall and very quick. So I'm quite excited about him. Overall, we have pretty good players, man. We got Nate Kinnam as well. We have a lot of prospects that we can uh, work with here. We got Mitch Keller, Austin Meadows as well. 22-year-old with A potential. We, we could probably get a lot for that pick right there for that player. Oh, why am I leaving? Okay. Look at the lineup. See how we got Josh Harrison, Adam Frazier, uh, Starting Marte, Corey Dickerson. Okay, that, not a bad lineup. This is not a bad lineup to work with. I want to work with this... Uh, DH. Oh, but well, this is with the DH. We're working without DH. I don't know why it still gives us. A D I kind of don't. I wish if we if, if we were to choose DH, I wish that they just gave us lineups with DHs, not lineups with no DH. Because then we gotta figure out we gotta work with four lineups, and it's kind of difficult to deal with. So uh, hopefully that can change. But uh, yeah, this is what we're gonna be working with, folks. So we got Corey Dickerson. I want to make Starter Marte the 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 main guy in our team. The main guy. I want to make sure he stays with us. I want to make sure Gregory Polanco, the second main guy as well. Both of them are from DR, so represent. But we got Josh Bell, uh, Colin Moran as well, Cervelli. Uh, okay, okay. I like this. I like this a lot. Let's check our picture rotation as well. We got James and Ty, we got Trevor Williams, Joe Musgrove, Ivan Nova, and Nick Kinnam. Uh, I like James and Tyon. I like James and Tyon. I want to see how, how much he will uh, provide for us on the long run. I'm excited to see how, how, he, how he would work out and how he would do. So let's make sure to set some stuff on manual. All right, we got this on manual. Uh, manual, manual. This, this. Uh, do this on auto. And yeah, that's basically it right there. So top prospects, we got Akuna, Shohei, Glaber, Kittery. Uh Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Do we have a top prospect? I believe we should be able to have a top prospect. All right, we got Mitch Keller. He's 20th. We can get a lot for Mitch Keller. We can get a lot. You guys know I don't really use my prospects like that. I'd rather use them for trade pieces. 
Uh, we could definitely use them. We could definitely use these guys for trade pieces. So let's see what the league is willing to give us for Mitch Keller and a Colin Moran. Let's see what 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 the league is willing to dish out of. They give us Zach Britton. No, 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 thank you. Carson Smith. Okay. Not many teams are going to give us a lot. I, I really don't expect. They give us a Jose Ramirez for Mitch Keller. Jose Ramirez straight up into the lineup would be pretty nice, but now nah, I want to see how good Mitch Keller can be for us. Okay. Not too crazy here. James Paxton would be a good pick, obviously. But we're not going to take that. We're not going to take that. I'm just kind of dishing out. I just kind of want to see what the league is kind of, you know. You know, I want to pick your brains a little bit. I want to see. Oh, I would take an Aaron Nola, though. I would take an Aaron Nola, though. That's good to know. That's good to know that they're willing to give us an Aaron Nola. And Josh Hader? Okay. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's good to know. That's good to know for any for for, for the future. So we're gonna rock a spirit trade. We're gonna see how well we do here, man. We never know, you know. Maybe the team plays different. Maybe the team plays good. F okay. Uh, uh, okay. We're gonna sim we're gonna simulate spring trading. You know, we don't really do much of spring trading. We don't really evaluate. We do kind of evaluate our players in spring trading, kind of see who's good and who's not. But uh, this you know spring trading stats aren't really you know we shouldn't really put them put it to that high of a pedestal for us so uh let's see you must go with the adra clay holmes with a, oh god wow so our closer is shut down i believe our closer is going to be shut down whenever we need to win games we can bring on felipe rivero he'll be shut down and he'll basically win us the game no matter what i truly believe that we do got an injury already no no way we lose james and tyon you're kidding me. We lose James and Tyon for the rest of the year. Oh my god. You're kidding me. We lose James and Tyon to a torn labrum. No way. That's a huge blow. That is a huge loss to us right there. That is a very huge loss. We don't have that ace guy in our rotation anymore. So this is now we kind of have to do a trade. We kind of have to basically pick up Aranola. I'm cool picking up Aranola. I really don't care. I will pick up Aranola in a heartbeat. Um, wow, man, that is such a bummer. That is really a bummer right there. Shit, I did not expect us to lose him that fast, man. Come on, we lose out on the main man. Oh man, that is that's 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 a hard pill to swallow right there. That is a big loss to us, ladies and gentlemen. A very, very big loss right there. So Aaron Nola. We can pick up Aaron Nola. Let's try to see what else we can get from him as well. Uh Aaron Nola and maybe a Scott Kittery. No, not Scott Kittery. Maybe a Reese. What else would it take for Reese? Uh, Mitch Keller, Austin Miller. I'm not going to give him two prospects like that. I, I thought we'll get a Reese Hoskins. No, I'm not going to give him Tyler Glass, no. You are out of your mind. I'll give him some random guy. We're going to have, well, we need that. We need that main man in our rotation. And I believe Aaron Ola can be that guy for us, man. Aaron Ola can definitely be that guy for us. Uh, this is an emergency pickup, honestly. We need we need to have that one ace in our rotation that we can rely on every five days. At least one. Two would be a premium. If we can get one, that's pretty good right there. Okay. Come on. So we got to offer this trade over to the Phillies, man. That is so sad, bros. We pick up the main man, Aaron Nola. We're going to be the, the big guy in our rotation. Clay Holmes, I'm not really going to take care of him too much. Uh, we're just going to see advance to the regular season, folks. Damn, man, that's such a bummer. That is such a bummer. Nick Kidd gets called up, and Aaron Nola must go up. If I know, like, Nick Kidd and Trevor Williams will be our guys in the rotation, and this will be our starting lineup for the season. I'm cool with starting these guys. Throughout the season, obviously, we can make trades depending on who's doing hot and who's not. So, uh, yeah, no more trades. The reason why I did that trade is because we really needed it. Uh, Wow, 4-0 start over to the season? 4-0 start to the season? 
Seven. Whoa, okay. I mean, hey, I haven't had a team start off that well in a while, man. So we got... I'm sorry. If you see me kind of brush up my nose because I'm really, really sick. So I'm sorry about that. Um, okay. Okay. So Colin Moran is hitting 420. Three home runs for Colin Moran already. Three home runs. Gregor Pinnock as well is doing some crazy stuff right there. Colin Moran has started... Wow. Okay, Colin. Okay. Okay. Uh, Harrison is, ha is not having the best start with the under one ERA. Not too bad right there. Uh, Elias Diaz. Okay. How's that rotation doing? How, how did that rotation do? A two point. Wow. Okay. Pretty good averages across the board. This is probably one of the best starts we've ever had. It's only a couple games, but I, it, hey, that's still a pretty good start. All right, let's continue this going, folks. Oh, we got to put the sponsorships, don't we? Yeah, we got to put in the sponsorship. I really forgot about that. So we get Nike for that. Uh, active replay. Uh, we'll put Marucci. Batter walk-up. We can put... Let me know if these if these are really important. I don't know how important these things are. They probably are really important when it comes to budget, but we don't really look at budget. We don't really care about our budget. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's continue this going. So... Pretty good start to the season. Wow. 11-5 for the season. I'm liking that. Let's go ahead and skip a little bit more forward. Okay. Okay. We're currently first in our division. 17-7. and seven. I Haven't really touched anything besides Aaron Nola. And we're 17-7 to start off the season. We're two games above the Cardinals. That's actually pretty crazy. That is actually pretty crazy. How's Conor Moran doing? Wow. Colin Moran has the leading our, our team, well, besides Josh Bell, leading our team in home runs. And I'm going to move him up the order because I really do want him to be, I'd rather, I don't want to be a leadoff guy. Per se, I'd rather start in Marte be our leadoff guy. Oh, this is with DH though. This is with DH, so it doesn't really matter with DH. Uh, okay, let's see how this goes. Adam Frazier said to be our leadoff, no. Starting Marte to be our leadoff guy. Uh, Colin Moran... Will be be our third hitter, third batter. Uh, I'll put Josh Bell over at second. Put it like this. We'll 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 leave Cervelli down. He's hitting 348 so far, and I'm cool with this lineup right here. I'm definitely cool with this. Why did I switch to that? I'm definitely cool with that lineup. Uh, why is Colin Moran in the bench in this uh in this uh thing right here? Why is he on the bench? That's pretty weird. Okay, this is with no DHs, Harrison, Moran. Uh, okay, I want to set this. Man, Corey Dickerson has not been doing too well for us. I mean, nah, it's not a good thing either. Put him here. We'll put Corey Dickerson out of the order. So far, so good. Anybody lost so far? Man, I hurt, it hurts seeing that, man. It hurts seeing the fact that we lost Colin Moran for that much. So Ivan Nova's 4-0 with the 1.04 ERA. Nick Kenham, a rookie. This is the first, I believe this is the first year rookie with a 2.01 average, 2 and 1 for the season, 29 strikeouts, and 31 innings pitch. That is actually pretty incredible. Trevor, wow. Our rotation is on fire. This team is on fire to start off the season. Hopefully, hopefully we keep this up, man. I really hope we keep this up. So we're gonna save it over to the 10th, and then we're just gonna stop it there. Um, don't really want to put you know advance too much. You don't really want to do that. So we're 25 and 12. We're two and a half games above the Cardinals for first already. And wow, 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 wow is all I can really say at this point, man. Um, this team really surprises me. Really surprised me and caught me off guard here, folks. Colin Moran is leading the team. He's absolutely a unit for us. Jordy, Jordy Mercer as well. He did the team. And I, th this is what I needed. I need the guys to show up. So we kind of, you know, use them as trade baits. But look at this. Look at this. Yvonne number with a 1.13. 5 and 0. Oh. Wow. Okay. I like I, I like what I'm seeing. How's Felipe Rivero doing? Felipe Rivero, 2.70 oh, ERA. I believe he has. Uh, how many saves does he have? Uh, 17 saves for the season already. And uh, anything we need, we need help with our bullpen for sure. Uh, we get rid of uh, Steven Brault. We get rid of Steven Brault. Really shouldn't be too much. Let's probably call up somebody. Uh, we can call someone up. Um, how is anybody doing good here? We can bring up Bo Schultz. I'm cool with bringing up Bo Schultz. He's not in the 40-man roster. We'll put him into the 40-man. 
Uh, Steven Schultz, we'll probably bring him down. Uh, where is he? Where's Steven Schultz at? Where is he at? Okay. We put him in the MLB roster. Where's Steven Schultz at? Uh, there we go. Steven Brault. What the hell is Steven Schultz? I just combined those two names. Uh, we'll put him to the there as a for triple a where's his man at both shots there we go both so i just added two names so we'll add both shots over to the big league roster give us that help in the bullpen hopefully he does good but yeah that's where we're gonna leave the episode off folks we're gonna leave it out there oh my god okay wow a lot of injuries a lot of injuries kevin Newman, jerick Suter, and johnny well uh, hellwag a lot of trades but folks this is episode one of the the Pittsburgh Pirates franchise, we're currently 25 and one so far in the season. Pretty pretty good record to have. We're first place team, you know. It's gonna be a very very interesting series. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this, folks. Please be sure to leave a like down below. Leave a leave a like as well if you're excited for the rest of the season, man. Because I know I am. And yeah, also drop a sub if you guys are gonna be you know hop along with us over with the. It was a fly in my face. Uh, leave a like and also subscribe if you guys are going to be hopping on into the journey with us with the Pittsburgh Pirates. See how long it'll take us to win a World Series with the Pittsburgh Pirates. As you guys know, the rules is as soon as we win a World Series with the team, we move on straight to the next one. So, like I said, it's your boy Rezzy, and I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Peace. When I pull up, we can't see anything. Too many bitches just want to be my lady. Talking much, shut up and pay me She wanna fuck